Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is uh, September the 9th, 2019, and uh, I wanted to talk to you today about what is eating your bok choy plants and seedlings. Now, uh, this is growing in the greenhouse here, and um, you can see the damage that's being done. I thought at first that um, the cicadas were eating this because I did see a cicada in here and uh, I started looking even closer because you can see they are just devouring these plants down and here it is the cabbage loppers so I'm going to be removing these off of here and you can see here's another one here and they blend in so well with the green that uh, it's hard to um, to see them sometimes now, um, you can find them also on the backs of the leaves, but uh, you can just they just devour your plants. And cabbage loppers go after anything in the uh, cabbage family, which bok choy is uh, a member of the uh, cabbage family in with the um, broccoli and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower and uh, cabbage. So there's another one there and you can see they didn't really eat the purple too much they did this one here pretty good and there's one right down there because he's on the stem so you really got to look your plants over for these things um one of you can see here here's three of them on the back of this leaf I'll have to get them off then you can spray these with a neem oil neem oil does work very well and uh, i'll have a link down in the description for the neem oil that I use and uh, it'll come with the instructions for how to mix it and go ahead and spray the tops and bottom leaves on your plants now um, neem oil is still considered organic because it comes from the uh, neem trees but um, you really gotta stop these things because you can see they'll just completely destroy your plants this one here barely has any leaves left and they nipped the uh, center leaf out of it I did that on a few of these, so um, I'm not sure if they'll come back or not. I've never had them attack my seedlings this small before, and uh, this is my first year growing these in the greenhouse, and um, this is the first time that they have ever been attacked by uh, these pests. I've seen a few of the cabbage butterflies in here, which can be white or they can be yellow, and uh, we try and you know get rid of them now another thing you can use is a BT product um, now that's not something that I use very often so um, there's no brand that I can recommend for it it's uh, for controlling caterpillars and getting rid of them but um, I find that the neem oil works just fine so that's what I'm going to be using you can see here here's another one right here on the leaf so uh, if you have something eating your uh, bok choy or your kale or cabbage and they're just devouring the leaves, start looking for these little uh, green caterpillars here. And uh, you might find them more in the early morning or at night, um, possibly closer to evening. You'll just see them on the plants and then uh, you can deal with them like that by removing them if you choose. Now, neem oil, one thing you don't want to do is spray a uh, dry plant with neem oil. You want to make sure that your plants are well hydrated before you spray them. And uh, you don't want to spray them in the heat of the day. You want to wait till early morning or late in the afternoon and uh, so that you don't burn your leaves or your foliage. And I was actually going to be transplanting this out today or probably tomorrow. and. Uh, just wanted to share this quick update with you and show you what's um, eating your leaves and your plants. And um, how neem oil actually works um, is when it's sprayed on, neem oil stays on the leaves and it stays on the plant. It works a little different than most of your kill on contact sprays. It can kill on contact, but most of the time it's um, a slower process where it can actually repel the bugs or it makes them stop eating so um, that's some of the ways that neem oil works 
And uh, if you've never done any research on neem oil, it's a pretty interesting product to uh, research. I know some people say that they only like the cold pressed and that's all they'll use. Honestly, I've never used the cold press. Just the regular neem oil works fine for me. And uh, I get really good results with it. So that's what I'm basing uh, my experience on with the neem oil that I use and buy is the results that I've seen with it. And uh, it does seem to take care of the pests very well for me. Um, another thing that you could do to keep the uh, cabbage butterflies away from your plants and to prevent the uh, cabbage loppers from getting on your plants from the cabbage butterflies laying the eggs on them is you could cover these with like they have like a mesh covering out that you can get um, that is another option that's what my best friend uses she uses a covering over all of her cold season crops to keep those cabbage butterflies and the worms off of her stuff but um you know, I, I grew this earlier in the greenhouse and started it earlier in the greenhouse and I didn't have any issues with it. So when I started it for this fall crop here, which I did do a video on my channel for how I started this from seed, it didn't occur to me that I was going to have an issue with this. So um, now I know and uh, make a note of it and I'll keep an eye out for them. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button to try to put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.